When coronavirus testing started, the promise was that results would take 24 to 72 hours. Since then, we've received several messages from people who've waited a week or sometimes even longer with no results in sight. When I got back to Bakersfield, I had a migraine, um, a sore throat, dry cough, and I've been tired all week. Leah Little had just spent two weeks in London. A breast cancer survivor, not much phases her. I have no fear. But when she and her friend Kathy, both in high risk categories, started seeing symptoms, they decided to get tested for coronavirus. The first day accelerated urgent care offered it. They take a long swab and they shove it way, way up your nasal passages. That was Wednesday the 18th. We were told originally it'd be uh, up to 70 hours. 70 hours is about three days. So we waited to call on Friday, then they said another two days. And then we called on Monday and then they said another few days and then we just called every day and they kept saying that. Now at 13 days, they finally got their results. Fortunately, they're both negative, but they're still frustrated. How does that make you feel that your results have been delayed over and over and over? My anxiety is through the roof because I don't understand why they're making us wait so long. What's the point in taking the test? Since you've been waiting for test results since the 18th, have you not left the house at all? No. Not even to the park or to get groceries out of extra caution. What if someone does, doesn't take it seriously and they're out spreading it? You know, they're not self-isolating. It's a little worrisome, you know? While Accelerated Urgent Care has been offering the tests, Quest Diagnostics is the lab processing the results. So unfortunately, the early testers were kind of the guinea pigs getting the system working. The initial batch we first got was seven to 10 days. And we said, this is, this is unacceptable. So why the holdup? This hit harder than what they had anticipated. If for instance, you're, you're planning on testing 10,000 people a day and 100,000 a day show up, you can't perform at the level you want to. But there may be improvements coming soon. So now Quest has said we fixed our system. As of this week, we should be able to test and give results within three days. This is what Quest is telling us. I, I hope they deliver on that. Through limbo and through quarantine, Leah and Kathy are grateful to have been together. We've done some cooking, some exercising. I'm making her do lunches. She's gonna have she's gonna be bikini ready. In Bakersfield, <laughs> Karen Hua, 17 News.